all right guys welcome back to another roblox studio video now um this is another dark rooms dev world okay guys the game i'm working on but anyway so uh in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make like a leader stats display thing okay so basically um on the screen you'd see like the coins or like um whatever your currency is right kind of like doors you know what i mean like doors is the coins and it has the um the knob so it's gonna be kind of like that but um yeah we're gonna make our own twist to it first of all i'm gonna show you guys what i have here so um this gives you some uh, like a point, I guess, a pool stone, that's what my currency is. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks when you grab it, get it. As you can see, that gave me one, but then what I did is, um, as you guys can see, look at it, it, sh it should be saying the pool stones on the top right, but... See, I'm pressing tab and my the playlist is hidden. That's exactly what we're gonna do for the which is the first step. Okay, so you get straight into the script. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is go up to started UI, right? And you wanna insert, so click on here, click insert object. So you right click that, click insert object, click, click on screen UI, okay. So anyways, it's called leaderboard GUI. Okay, I'm calling mine leaderboard GUI, so you can just um, click on it and just call it leaderboard GUI. Then inside here you're gonna do the same thing, click on on right click and click this object and then you set a local script now in here okay we're gonna do this code okay you can pause the video if you want and copy it down that's what we're gonna do for now okay we're gonna add a lot more coding yeah that's what we're gonna get down for now but now is a design process okay now we actually need to design it so what i'm gonna do is i want to insert a frame so i want to call this main frame okay and then i'm gonna cover the area that i want it to be on oh what the heck now what we're gonna do is put this on the area i want to cover all right guys i need to show you guys a plugin that you all need okay you need this plugin um because guys let me show you what will happen okay cool you know how you're making this frame you know we insert any frame you think everything's all cool for your game and everyone's gonna love your game but no if you go to the test and click on device and if you click on iphone let's say so if anyone's playing on iphone Look at that, <laughs> look at that. It doesn't size well probably, but you see all the other stuff, it does. It does size well because um they're all scaled, okay? And I'll show you guys how to do exactly that. It's so simple. So you're gonna need this plugin. It's called Auto Scale. You're gonna go over to Toolbox, go here, Plugins, search for Auto Scale, you get the light one. I think it's like this one, right here. Get it, and then all you gotta do, go to Plugins, open it, click on Unit Conversion, and then convert it to scale. Just click on scale for the size and scale for the position. We can t test it out again. Look at that. Look at that. Now it's scaled properly. Background transparency one. It was just the main thing to handle everything. Now here's a part where I insert an image label. Do the same thing. Go here, plugins, auto scale. Just like that. Boom. Perfect. You hold shift while you scale down so it doesn't mess up, you know. I'm gonna do. This label. I'm just making it guys. Uh, you guys can copy what I do if you want. I don't know. Or you can skip if you want to put in a custom image. You want to go to the image label, click on image, click on whatever you want. Okay. If you don't want to do that, you don't need to um, have an image label. You can just, uh, or you can just have it transparent if you want. But yeah, I got this one made by my good friend Kurt. So background transparency one. Look at that. That looks more clean as you can see so, yeah, and as you can see you can move both of them together so it doesn't you know it's not annoying now you know open up the script okay the one that you inserted this one earlier now you want to state the variables okay follow what i do guys a few moments later as you guys can see it says one now um there you go see so, guys i want to keep this video nice and short but um I, you know, I want to get straight to the point. I want you guys to actually get, you know, get this to work fast. Like, it's been a few days now um, since that last clip that you guys saw. I don't want to waste your time getting to the process of how it is done. But if you guys want to learn how, uh, you can check out the script for yourself. I will leave this whole uh, script in the description um, or all the pinned comments. But basically, I'm explaining to you guys how this works, how you can use this script. So here's the only thing you need to change, okay? In this whole entire script, you need to change the currency name, okay? Make sure you change this to the name of your currency, okay? My one is called Poolstone. Your one is probably going to be called Coins or whatever it is, okay? And that's not the only thing you need to change. You need to also change this, okay? The mainframe and then this, okay? So uh, this one right here, this is called Poolstone. You must change this to the correct spelling as well. So let's say yours is Coins. 
coins just change it to coins okay all right so if you guys did everything right this should work it should work like this with the animations and everything but obviously your design will be different oh hold on so it should work like this if you followed everything correctly and that whole animation thing that you saw on the screen uh it should work as well as you guys can see it works and yeah see it increases too let's try again this is three okay now watch this look at the screen guys uh when it wants to purchase this three two one as you guys can see as you can see it says minus five uh it said minus five on the screen so yeah as you guys can see it should work like that for you as well so i made this compatible for you guys as well i don't really care you guys take the script to do whatever you want with it um yeah but uh, but the, do this for the old learning experience okay make sure you guys study the script learn how it works okay because um it's for your own good guys it's for your own good but yeah that's it thanks for tuning in all the way to the end and uh, i hope this video i hope you found it helpful Please smash sub and like and let me know what more roblox studio content you like for this horror game